Greetings and welcome to Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. I am your host, Chaos, as always. Thank you for joining me today, you awesome gamer hounds. We have the release of the March of the Machines this week. Uh, currently, you can grab pretty much any of the boxes, commanders, uh, pre-cons, and singles at your local game shop. So please do support those local game shops so they can keep running. You can find people that are interested in a lot of the same things, some new gamer friends, some card pals, all that kind of stuff. Um, but currently you can get these at the local game shops. Um, everything else we'll be releasing on, I believe, Friday the 21st. Um, or the Saturday 22nd to everybody else. We do have a collector's edition box coming through, but for right now we have all five of the commander boxes. We're going to be popping these open all this week, checking them out, seeing what's in them, see what they got, see what's new, and then going from there. So for right now, we do have some pre-con, or not pre-con, um, some promo stuff that we're going to check out and see what we got going on here. So first things first, we were able to get a hold of Omneth, Locus of All. He is Wooberg, but the black is Phyrexian. So you can either pay two life or one black mana. And if you would lose unspent mana, that mana becomes black instead. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, look at the top card of your library. You may reveal that card if it has three or more color mana symbols in its mana cost. If you do, uh, I'll add three mana in any combination of its colors and put it into your hand. If you don't reveal it, put it into your hand. So... That's uh, He's a pretty nasty, nasty commander. I believe I'm going to hang on to this one. Love the way this promo looks. He is all Phyrexianized and everything. Love the way he looks. I may end up holding on to him and doing a very wild, maybe Praetor with Om all the Omnaths uh, kind of build later on. So keep an eye out for that. If anybody's interested, let me know. I'll see about putting up a, uh, a card, uh, a deck build. Once I get an idea of what I want to do with him. Um, but we were able to get a hold of that. So that is very awesome. Very lovely card. Very nice in the foil. Not curled or anything. They're playing. They're, they're pretty flat you know, as far as anything. So um, not a lot of issues with that so far. So very excited there. Uh, the next thing we have is this. So we have a promo pack. And then we have a Relic Token Pack. Actually, let's open the Relic Token Pack here. We've got Kalia hanging out on the front there, looking very ominous and, and going to beat you behind with demons and dragons and everything as normal. Let's see. Oh, oh I see a corner there. Oh, let's see. Let's see what we got. Kind of hyped to, to check this out. Let's see what token we were able to come up with. Is it one that I can use? It is. Oh, hey. Renegade Leader. So that is very nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Izuri, Renegade Leader. Okay. So I guess this is loyalty counter or something for him? Or not a loyalty, but maybe a elf type counter i'm not sure i'm gonna have to check back and see what that is if anybody has an idea what this is supposed to be a counter for i guess oh it's a commander damage counter oh if he's your commander oh, okay i see what it is okay that's kind of cool that's kind of different I was thinking just like a little creature counter, but uh, yeah, that's nice. I like that. And it's foiled and everything. Very lovely. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Well. All right. So there's that. I'm gonna put that off to the side there. And then, oh, it comes with... Relic Token Legendary Collection. 
You got Cranko up there. Oh, it's a life and commander damage counter, I guess. They got one for Krinko. Oh, man, I wish I would have got that one. I got Krinko. Oh, they got the Sliver Overlord? Oh, man. They got one for Kalia. They got one for Elish Norn, Grand Cenobite. Izuri, Carador, Maelstrom Wanderer. Nice. Oh, they got Brago. Spartan has a Brago deck. Uh, let's see, Queen Marchesa, Karn, Silver Golem, Bruna. Okay, so actually a couple of these would not be bad to get a hold of. So, I might have to see if I can find little Mr. Krinko. But, okay, so these are Relic Tokens. Dual Dials to track life. Third Dial to track commander damage. And 18 collectible tokens in the set. Very cool. All right. Well, that's nice to see. Well, all right. Let's uh, let's get to the next part here. We're let me get out of my handy dandy trash can. We're gonna pop this open. There we go. All right. Let's pop this puppy open. See what we got for promos. The promo pack. All right. Oh. So we got a arena card there. Let's see. And it does have an arena code. Very nice. Okay. So let's see. What's our first promo? Because there's three promos. Let's see. Promo number one. Ah. Quintorius Lore Master. Very nice. Let me zoom you guys down here a little bit. Let's make it a little bit easier on you. There we go. All right. So we got Quintorius Lore Master. We have Kami of Whispered Hopes. Not too shabby. And, ooh, Transcendent Message. Convoke, draw X cards. Uh, your creatures can help uh, cast a spell. Each creature you tap while casting this spell pays for one of the mana. One colorless. Okay. Well, nice. Nice. Not bad. Not super awesome, but not bad. All right. So let's get to today's unboxing. We're going to pop open this puppy right here. So, yes. All right. Let's see what we have. So this is Commander Deck, March of the Machines, Tinker Time. Commander is Gimbal, Gremlin, Prodigy, 2, Green, Blue, Red. He is a 4-4 four, four Gremlin Artificer. Artifact creatures you control have Trample. Nice. At the beginning of your end step, create a 0-0 zero, zero Red Gremlin Artifact Creature Token. Put X 1-1 one, one counters on it, where X is the number of differently named artifact tokens you control. So, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Well, we got some 1-1 one, one counters all around here. And then we got... The little, little token guy there. Oh, we got the deck. Ha <laughs> ha. We have the fold out. Special rules for commander. And then a little background story for Gimbal. Okay, very cool. Very, very cool. Alright, so we got that out of the way. Oh, haha, -ha! we got the life counter. Goes up to 40 on that side, goes up to 20 on this side. Little cardboard, not bad. 
We got the plane chase die. Here we go. So each one of these commander decks comes with the plane chase die. So there's only one side that has the plane chase symbol and one side that has the magic symbol. And then we've got the box. And I guess the plane chase cards are inside... Little deck box there. Little gimbal on the back. His colors on the side. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Let's uh, let's pop this bad boy open. Come on. There it is. All right. So we. See the tokens. Okay, all the tokens that you need. So there's the gimbal non-tournament legal type card. And then the normal gimbal card. So we got those. Very nice, very nice. Okay. I'm trying to see where... Oh! There was a separate pack that slid out. Oh, hey! There we go. Collector Booster Sampler. So we're going to save that for last. We'll put that off to the side here. Save that for the very last. And then the Plane Chase cards. So we'll do that next to last. So we'll, we, we've got some little end of the, the video tidbits for everybody over here. So we're going to get most of the rest of this moved out of the way. We'll just leave Gimbal at the top of there. Let's, uh, let's take a look. So we've got the islands. One, two. We got eight islands. And then we got eight mountains. Seven forests. And then for tokens, we have Thopters, we got some treasure, we got golems, we got some more Thopters, and then we got a feather, some food, and then we got our turn orders. And then what's on the back of these? Ooh, replicated rings on the back. Got a servo, some gold tokens. A clue token, blood token, gremlins, and beasties. So cool. Got a lot of different tokens that are going to be popping off in this deck. Very interesting. All right. So. All right, so let's go through some of these and just see what we have. Hopefully everybody can see that nice and clearly. All right, Rashmi and Ragavan. Okay, it's one of the dual, one of the dual commanders that they are offering up. So that is a alternate for the deck. Very nice. We got a command tower, crack open, okay. Evolving wilds, fractured power stone, gruel signet, little mana ramp there. Is it signet? Okay. Path of ancestry, very nice. Reverse engineer, root out. Oh, Simic growth chamber, huh. That's okay. Up, oh, Simic Signet. Terramorphic. Thoughtcast. Affinity for artifacts. Very nice. Uh, replicating Ring. Arcane Signet. Combined Chrysalis. 
Yeah. Creature tokens you control have flying. Oh, very nice. Sack a token, create a 4 4 beastie. Activate only as a sorcery. Curse of Opulence. Yes. Frontier of. Frontier Biovac. Bavoic? Maybe that's Bavoic. Uh, Girapur Aether Grid. Junk Winder. Married Landscape. There seems to be a lot of tap lands in this one. I don't have a good feeling about that. Reality Shift. Sahili Sublime Artificer. Soul Ring. Struggle and Survive. Tireless Provisioner. Vampire's Vengeance. Uh, Weirding Wood. Enters the battlefield, investigate. Enchanted land has tap at two of any one color. Nice. Uh, Schema Thief. Sandstep War Riders. Cutthroat Negotiator. Parlay. When it attacks, each player reveals the top card of their library for each non land revealed. This way, create a tap treasure token. Then each player draws a card. Huh. Interesting. Hedron Detonator. Yeah. Enters the battlefield under your control. It deals one damage to target opponent. Oh, nice. Mm, sacrifice two artifacts. Exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. Huh. Mm, Icar Elixir. Path of the Animist. Pain Disruptor, Dance with Calamity, Ah, Pia and Kieran Nalar, 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 Ah, Felden of the Third Path, very much. If it's an artifact deck, he is definitely one to have in there. Ooh, Chaos Warp for a little response action there. Uh, Stroke of Genius, Academy Manufacturer, Aid from the Cowl. Bloodforge Battle Axe. Ooh, Brass's Bounty. Cinder Glade. See, more that enters the battlefield tapped. Two more basics. So that's not too bad, but that's a lot of coming into the battlefield tapped for lands. Uh, Echo Storm. Everquill Phoenix. You can mutate. Ooh, that's a nice one. Uh, Exotic Orchard. Fiery Confluence. Mm, enters the battlefield. You may reveal an island or mountain card from your hand. If you don't, it enters tapped. See, again, more tapped entering lands. Again, more tapped entering lands. Gilded Goose. You can create a food token. Tap, sack a food token, and one mana. Hellkite Igniter. Impo imprisoned in the moon. Chant creature land or planeswalkers. Colorless land with is a colorless land with tap at a colorless mana and loses all other uh all other card types and abilities. Okay. Inspiring statuary. Non artifact spells you cast have improvised. Master of Ethereum. Masterful Replication. Perplexing Test. Rise and Shine. Sahili's Artistry. Sharding Phoenix. Ooh, that's a nice one. And whenever an artifact creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may create a 1 1 blue. Thopter Artifact Creature Token with Flying. Very nice. Shimmer Dragon. Skyclave Relic. Spell Swindle. Uh, Spine of Issa. More tapped entering land. More tapped entering land. More tapped entering land. That? I mean, okay, so the deck is... This deck is three color. 
and it's got a lot of like artifacts and it's got a I mean it's got some okay ramp I actually did not see any ramp spells that I can think of more draws but nothing ramp ramp wise a lot of stuff for gold and treasure but Thopter Spy Network I have a tireless tracker it just feels like Vidalkin Humiliator Again, more enters the battlefield. You may reveal a forest or island card from your hand. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. See, that just feels very sluggish. It feels like that is not... Workshop elders, artifacts you control... Artifact creatures you control have flying. Oof, that's pricey. Beginning of combat on your turn, you may have target non-creature artifact you control become a OO artifact creature. If you do put four one one counters on it, okay. And Whirler Rogue enters the battlefield. Create two one one colorless. Stop their artifact creature tokens with flying. So a lot of tokens, a lot of tokens. Uh, it's got a feel of too many lands that enter tapped. And if you don't have a whole lot of lands in hand for the ones that are coming through that have to enter tapped, unless you like show another one that just doesn't feel good it feels sluggish that's just me though that feels kind of sluggish all right so let's see let's do yeah, we'll save we'll save the collectors let's do the the plane chase cards these i am very very excited for let me pull you guys out here some i'm very excited to get a hold of these I've uh, been wanting to get a hold of these for a long while and to see that they dropped them in the commander sets and then made some new ones. I'm very hyped. All right. Plane wide disaster phenomenon. When you encounter plane wide disaster, destroy all creatures. Then planes walk away from this phenomenon. Ouch. Oh. Probably help if I. There we go. Let's, uh, let's bring it in a little bit. There we go. Not a happy uh, plane there. Glimmer Void Basin. Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell with a single target, that player copies that spell for each other's spell permanent card on the battlefield and or player the spell could target. Each copy targets a different one of them. Ooh. And then if you roll and get the plane symbol, uh, whenever chaos ensues target choose target creature each player except that creature's controller creates a token that's a copy of that creature oh my Ooh, Celestine so loft gardens Ravnica okay that one was mirrored in this one's Ravnica uh, in an effect if an effect would create one or more tokens it creates twice that many of those tokens instead if an effect would be put on one or more counters on a permanent, it puts twice that many of those counters on that permanent instead. And then the uh, plane symbol, uh, whenever chaos ensues, until end of turn, whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana of any type that land produced. Nice. Uh, Isle of Asuva. This is Dominaria. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield, its controller creates a token that's a copy of that creature. Whenever chaos ensues, destroy target creature and all other creatures with the same name as that creature. Ooh, okay. This is Wrath. Uh, Stronghold Furnace. If a source would deal damage to a permanent or a player, it deals double that damage instead. Whenever chaos ensues, uh, Stronghold Furnace deals one damage to any target. Very interesting. The Wilds from Eldraine. When a plane, when you planes walk to the wilds at the beginning of your upkeep, create a food token. Whenever chaos ensues, target player sacrifices a creature. If they if they do. You create a food token. You create two food tokens instead if the sacrifice creature's toughness was four or greater. Uh, Girapur from Kaladesh. At the beginning of your combat on your turn, until end of turn, each non-player, non-vehicle artifact you control becomes a 5-3 vehicle in addition 
to its other types and gains Trample, Haste, and Crew 2. Interesting. Uh, whenever chaos ensues, return target non-creature artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, the Western Cloud. Gobacon. Okay. Prevail damage that would be dealt to creatures and planeswalkers you control. Whenever chaos ensues, create three tapped treasure tokens. They deal they each deal one damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Hmm. Create three tap treasure tokens. Okay. That's kind of nasty. Uh, Ten Wizard Mountain. This is from Shenmeng. Whenever you roll the planar die, put a 1-1 counter on up to one target creature. Whenever chaos ensues, creatures you control gain flying until end of turn. And the last but not least from Dominaria, new Argive. Uh, whenever a historic creature you control attacks, it gets 2-2 until end of turn. Whenever chaos ensues, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a historic card. Put that card on into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Very nice. Okay. Very cool. I'm so hyped to get these added in. These will be really, really fun to have added. All right. So... Let's see what we have going on here. So this is a sealed product, not for resale. Collector Booster Sample Pack, which I believe has, is it two? Nope, it's got three cards. Well, okay, it's got two cards. Make new friends every Friday night. All right, so first one is... Bright Palm Soul Awakener. Okay. That's cool. And so that's nice. We got a mythic there, so that's cool. And Rata Coalition Warlord. Not bad. Not bad at all. Cool little sampler pack. Couple little extra cards. All right. Well. That is all that we have for today. Thank you guys for joining me. I am Chaos with Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. Signing out of here. Next video, we will do another Commander's deck and uh, see what it's got in store for us. Some more uh, Planeswalkers, another uh, Collector Booster Sampler Pack that comes with each of the uh, Commander Precons. So, uh, along with, I believe, each one of them comes with a Planar Die. So, I'll have a whole bunch of Planar Die to use. All right. Thank you guys for joining me. I am Chaos with Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. Signing out of here. You guys have a safe one. Till we see you in later videos. Take it easy. Bye.